Timeless GX is one of the craziest GX attacks in the entire Pokemon TCG. For 5 energy, you take another turn after this one. That's it. You just take another turn. You take two turns before your opponent takes a turn. Uh, the problem is, is that Dialga GX kind of sucks otherwise. Uh, for a single metal energy, draw until you have such cards in your hand. Fine. Uh, Shred for 3 energy does 80 damage and it isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. Uh, it does 80 damage. That is horrible. So, Shred isn't doing anything. That means you have to rely on somebody else. Enter Mewtwo and Mew GX. Perfection lets it copy any Pokemon GX or EX, but that's an expanded, so any Pokemon GX on your bench or in your discard pile. So after using Timeless GX, you will have 5 energy attached. I mean, there's no way around that. But you can use that to your advantage. Dragonite GX has Sky Judgment. For 5 energy, it does 270 damage, and you discard 3 energy from this Pokemon. That's totally fine. You'll have 2 energy left, you can just attach right after, and that's totally fine. And then you can use Sunsteel Strike. For 3 energy, it does 230 damage, and you have to discard all energy from this Pokemon. So you definitely want to go Dragonite, then Solgaleo, not Solgaleo, then Dragonite. And to get all of that energy into play, you have Magnezone. As long as you have energy in your hand, you just attach it to your Pokemon. The list is pretty straightforward. There's nothing too crazy in here. You know, you play Mount Coronet. That just lets you get two metal energy from your discard pile and put it into your hand. Obviously, I play Rare Candy and Jirachi, and the Zacian's there because Zacian's awesome. I have high hopes for this deck. Let's see if it works. Alright, so Water and Psychic. This might be Inteleon VMAX. Uh, I haven't been including the Mew in really any of my decks, so this could be really bad. Uh, do I want to go first? I could snipe shot somebody. Uh, I like going second because you can play a supporter, but maybe if I get a really good hand, I can have some Magnemites down. Uh, no. Well then. And this wouldn't even be a great hand to Dedenne if I get a quick ball. So this would be a Zacian hand. Yep, it, oh, and there's Dedenne right on the, right on time. Oh, and the hand is horrible. Okay, so... What do I do here? If I did Denny, I lose a whole bunch of stuff. I can put the... I think I put the Viridian into play. Because it's probably going to get bumped. I think I just... I got to go for it. And the reason I play a Viridian is because it lets me get rid of Solgaleo. So I'll put the Magnemite down. I will Viridian that guy. I will do that. And yeah, that was unfortunate. Okay, so they can't really do anything. That's the cool thing about Inteleon is, oh dear. So I might have to just manually attach to the, the Denny or the Magnemite just to retreat it. There's Capacious Bucket, so I'm guessing they play Frostmoth. Uh, it's really just going to be who gets their energy accelerators into play the fastest. And I'm a stage two, and I lost the Magnezone. So that's not great. But, you know, I went first. That's my fault. Uh, and actually, yeah, I do want to keep the Denny up front, because Magnemite, it can't be hurt when it's on your bench. So if I, I... It just makes more sense. Maybe they'll try and hit it, and they'll forget about the ability. I've been known to not read my cards a time or two. Yep, there you go. All right, so there's Dialga. So this hand, ha ha ha. Okay, so Evolution Incense. Hopefully the Dragonite's in the deck. That's perfect. Uh, I don't want to get the Magneton just in case I get the combo. Just the rare candy, what I need combo. So I have all my GXs in the discard. That is perfect. Uh, yeah, I can't do anything with that. I don't want more energy in the discard, I don't think, so I'll just put Coronet down, because this way I can just get the two energy after this research, so that's perfect. Uh, that is less perfect. If I get an Evolution Incense, I can attack this turn. I can actually do a lot this turn if I get Evolution Incense. Of course I didn't get Evolution Incense. Okay, um... Hmm, I guess I just grab Cynthia. Now, do I Zacian or do I not Zacian? That is the question. 
Do I get Zation or do I get Mewtwo and Mew? Mewtwo and Mew. Actually, yeah, I can I can overclock. Um, yeah, there's not really anything. Else. I could I could mock delivery. You may discard any number of cards from your hand until you have nine or fewer, and then draw until you have ten. Uh, won't be doing that. I could use Soul Burst, but the whole point of this deck. Oh right, I don't have any energy. Well, I should have grabbed Zation. Uh, oh, you have to get two. Okay. Well, I think I should put the Jirachi down just in case and pass. Okay, so yeah, I forgot that I'd already attached. That's fine. Uh, I mean, their whole thing they're going to have to do is knock out a bunch of things. Uh, the Dedenny is definitely a target. Uh, really thinking I should have gone for Zation there, but that's not a big deal. Okay, they're hitting the Dedenny. That's fine. Evolution, oh, there you go, one turn behind. So that's pretty much going to wrap it up because I don't think there's anything they can do. I'm going to have five energy into play. Uh, I'm going to timeless. I'm going to knock their dude out. I don't know what else they can do to recover from this. And here we go. This is exactly how the deck is supposed to function. You just get all your GXs in the discard and then as soon as you have a Mewtwo and Mew, you just go for it. Uh, I have bosses and I have a skateboard. I think I'd rather just Cynthia this turn. Uh, yeah, I don't want to... Just in case they don't concede after this, I want to have some things. Though I could have... No, I think boss's orders would have been... Oh, boss, boss's orders would have been actually a great idea. That was that was a bad decision on my part. Okay. Well, they weren't even going to let me do it. But yeah, the gameplay error for me there was if I bosses the Snom and I timeless the Snom, that knocks out the Snom, and then all they have left is the Inteleon V, and then I can use Sky Judgment or Sunsteel Strike and knock out the Inteleon V and just win the game. The thing I was going to do there was not win the game, but they conceded anyway. I'll go to game two and see if Timeless just keeps on kicking. And it's the final Goomba. Uh, I don't really know what's going on with my ranking right now, but as soon as I, you know, I'm playing bad decks. I'm playing very bad decks. I'm testing a lot of ideas that aren't working. I'm losing a ton. Uh, and you think my ranking would drop really far, but it seems like I lose five games. I start to play some bad decks and then I win once. And all of a sudden it's just Dragapult VMAX after Dragapult VMAX. Uh, I've been burned too many times going first, so I'm going to go second. And... This would have been the perfect starting hand going first, so, you know, there's just nothing you can do. Nothing I can do in this situation where it's like, the odds are that I should go second, so I can play a supporter and I need to set up. I'm not going to have a starting hand this good, and then, of course, I have a starting hand this good. And what am I playing against? The Ranguru can be anything. It could be... Because uh, I wasn't really paying attention at the start screen, so it could be... Oh, it's Pikachu and Zekrom. Okay. I have had some good luck against tag teams. Uh, in one of my test games with this deck, things were crazy. Like, right away, I went down 6-1 six, six to one on prizes against the Reshiram and Zekrom deck. Can't even speak right now. A Reshiram and Zekrom deck with the Charizard tag teams. Uh, my start was horrible, and I didn't see a Magnezone or a Supporter until turn 3. But I did Denade that turn, I was able to get a Mewtwo and Mew up and running, uh, and a Magnezone, of course, and I KO'd the Reshiram and Zekrom. If they had any way to bring up someone on my bench, they would have won, because they had one prize left, and my bench was just full of, like, Magnemite and Jirachi and very weak stuff. Instead, they played three Pokemon catchers and went 0 for 3. They had to Flare Strike my Mewtwo and Mew for not enough, uh... And that was hilarious. So the next turn I used Timeless, and then I used Sky Judgment, and I won. It was hilarious. And you're never out of it with this deck. Because you can you can string, to, string together some things and just win. Uh, it, was, it was crazy. I really hope I get something like that when I'm recording right now. Uh, you know, Pikaram... 
I don't know. If they go crazy and try to load up their Pikara, maybe. Uh, and this is still their first turn. I mean, they're down two bosses. That's good. But this is their first turn. If they had... If they had gone second, they would just be a Thunder Mountain away from basically just winning the game. So was it a good idea that I went second? I don't know. Or I guess they're just an energy switch. Oh, wow. Did they forget that this is... Okay. I was like, did they forget that they're not able to attack this turn? Okay, so this is... Things are a little rough right now. I'm going to wait to... Okay. Is the Vitality Man going to matter? Sky Judgment does 270. Pikaram has 270. Doesn't resist Mewtwo and Mew, so that's fine. So I think I... Put the Zation V down. I get rid of the Vitality Band. I get the Magnemite. I get rid of the Metal Energy. Um, or I just go get Sky Judgment right now. I think that sounds better. So I will... Oh... I think I Stellar Wish now, because it'll determine whether I get like a Mewtwo and Mew or something. And yeah, I needed a supporter. So I don't need to get to Denny, so that's perfect. I think I get another Magnemite just to be safe. So what else do I need? Because the Jirachi's probably going down. I don't need Mewtwo and Mew right now. I can surprise them with that later. Uh, Quick Ball counts a little scary. If I get the Mewtwo and Mew right now, they could great catcher it and things would go horribly. So I think I just get a Magnemite. The Zacian V I don't really want to attach to. Simply because that would be bad. I think I want to attach to a Magnemite because this Jirachi is going down, so I'll have to retreat the Magnemite. Oh, of course. Um, I think I want to save all that. Second Evolution Incense. This is not great. I think I retreat into the Magnemite that I was going to have to do that with. And then I Intrepid Sword and I don't get any energy. Okay, so I have a Magnezone. I just need this Jirachi to survive, and I need the <laughs> I need the Jirachi to get me something. So I'm not out of it yet, but this is a poor start. They had... I mean, is there any way they could have had a better turn one? I mean, no, right? Maybe if they'd kept the boss's orders? But how do you... You can't have a better turn one than that with Picaron going first. Like, look at that. Oh, jeez. At least it's not a Marnie, I guess, right? A Marnie would put all this on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so I really hope I see the right cards. That's actually... well, that's not perfect. Uh, do they have a way to retreat the Jirachi? Please tell me you don't. Please tell me you whiffed. And... oh, I have a scoop of it. Damn. Okay, so the reason I didn't attach to Zation V... Maybe I should have. Maybe I should start doing that. But I was thinking, I need to knock out two tag teams to win. But in retrospect, maybe I should have hit one of the tag teams, and then that way, okay, that way a timeless would have taken a knockout. So that might have been a mistake on my part. And yeah, this is bad. So maybe I should have been attaching to Zation V. I have learned my lesson. Uh, Attack with Zation V in a tag team matchup because it only gives up two prizes and it can soften somebody up so you can do a one shot on a tag team with Timeless and then Sky Judgment for win the turn after. So, you know, I just, obviously there's a lot to think about right now. I wasn't expecting them to have such a crazy turn. But if you're playing this in a more relaxed environment where you don't have to talk through all your moves, uh, you want to attack with Zation V for sure. Because the whole point of this deck is to get Timeless off, so you don't really care. You know, if you can take two knockouts to win, you want to put yourself in a position where two knockouts is possible, and you can just get the win from there. Okay, that is... potentially good, unless they have like a tag switch. 
Okay, so I guess I put the coronet down. I think I sent the first. Okay, so this is good and bad. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to be able to knock out the Magnazone. And I'm down a Magnemite, so that Zation V play that I didn't do is really coming back to bite me here. Still our wish. There's Great Catcher. If I Great Catcher now, that's not a horrible thing. I will have to get rid of Amulet and Viridian. That's totally fine so i can i can do it i could also knock out the D danny so i'm gonna need some i'm gonna need some cards okay so step one is magnetic circuitization just who do i want to hit into is the question i'm gonna great catcher do i want to hit into the raichu raichu the D danny i don't want to hit into this because i don't want that to still be in the active if that's still in the active i'm in trouble because they can tag both and knock out my magnezone if I hit the right, if I take the knockout, then they still can do tag bolt. I think I have to hit the Raichu Raichu and just hope they whiff tag bolt. That's really my only play here. So I'm gonna hit him with Brave Blade, and if things work out next turn, I can win. But this is what I should have been doing last turn. Or could I even do that last turn? I don't know. What turn is this? I think this is like turn three for them. This game has gone very quick, you know. I, I have an attack called Timeless, but this uh, this is taking a not very long time. That was a bad joke, and I'm sorry. All right, Final Doomba, what do you got? They're probably just trying to piece together. Okay, that is horrible because they're gonna heal. Oh man, they ugh. They're going to be 20 short of a timeless knockout. Okay. Um, as long as I don't tag bolt, I should still be okay. Not great. I should be okay. But I have a zero card hand. I don't really have much going on. I'm probably going to have to just manually retreat the Zation V into Jirachi if they don't take this knockout. They probably will take the knockout somehow. Uh, I haven't seen Thunder Mountains, so that's good. But, I mean, Thunder Mountains at large, it's somewhere. Yeah, it's not in there. Okay, so are they going to Lightning Ride? I'm very happy if they Lightning Ride. Because Tag Bolt would have been the absolute worst thing. A Lightning Ride is totally fine with me, as long as this Jirachi gets me something. Uh, this is perfectly fine. Because now they have no way of knocking out a Mewtwo and Mew. Uh, well, that's bad. Um, you know, they cannot knock out a Mewtwo and Mew. They'd have to, they'd have to get all four Electro Power. And I, oh, well, I haven't seen an Electro Power yet, so who knows. Okay, so things have definitely gone downhill. I really don't want to have to like overclock or something. Okay, that's bad. Another wish. Okay, perfect. So I might have to overclock. Uh, I would need a Dialga for that to happen. And a Mewtwo and Mew, or one or the other. Okay. So I guess I want the Jirachi down. Okay, so I'm going to have to overclock. That's not great. And sure. There's rare candy, energy retrieval. So I want the rare candy. Okay, okay. This is, this is not easy. So I'm going to Dialga. I think I'm honestly just going to overclock with the Dialga. As weird as that sounds, I'm just going to switch into it and overclock, and if they knock it out, they knock it out. Because I'm in a position where I'm going to have to... Oh man, I don't even want to have to run through this. I'm going to have to Sky Judgment 
first, or Sunsteel Strike, whichever. Because uh, I can knock that out with a Sunsteel Strike, but I don't have Solgaleo GX in the discard. So I'm going to have to Sunsteel Strike the Raichu Raichu, or Sky Judgment, either of them. Then they can't take any knockout. They cannot hit anyone on the bench. They can't have a Fion hiding somewhere in there. They can't have a boss's orders. And then they'll hit another Mewtwo and Mew for not enough. They'll probably try and paralyze me with Raichu Raichu, uh, I guess. So I want to knock out the Raichu Raichu. That is 100%. I want to knock out the Raichu Raichu. I want them to come up with that. Okay, good. Okay, this is this is uh, this is crazy time here. I can still win. I can still beat Pikaram. It is very unlikely, but it's still possible. Uh, I will Marnie them most likely, unless I have like a research or something. Uh, research is in the deck, so that can that can still be a thing. Okay. Are you ready? This could either be a huge dud of an ending or just the craziest win you've ever seen. Because this is the not the exact same scenario, obviously, but I'll be down 6-1 to one when they take this knockout. Uh, if they take this knockout, they don't have a knockout. Okay, so they're giving me an extra turn if I want it. I don't know if I want it. Okay, I mean, do I just let them have it here? And just give myself an extra turn to build up energy. I think so, right? Do I have the Sunsteel Strike in the deck? I need this Dialga. Because I, I don't think I have it right now. I, like, I have a Mount Coronet. I have an Energy Retrieval. I have a Boss's Orders. I, everything is in the deck that needs to be in the deck. So I think I just wait, let them take this knockout, and then just hope they don't have a bosses for game right after. Because they're down three. I mean, if they play four bosses orders, then they get a slow clap. But I think I let them knock this out. Hopefully they don't like hit me with the Denny or something, because that would be horrible. And then I will 100% regret getting rid of the Vitality Band. Or no, I do. I still have no. There it is. Yeah, I got rid of Vitality Band literally at the very beginning of the game, uh, not thinking it would come in handy. But I guess it wouldn't really matter, right? Because if I timeless it to Denny, then I still have to take more knockouts, so that wouldn't be good. Okay, so okay, here we go. I have to Sun Steel Strike or Sky Judgment this thing. So I need five energy on my Mewtwo and Mew. And they're powering up an Orangaru. Awesome. Okay, there's a, there's some ways this can go sideways. If they have four Electro Power, that's horrible. If they have Boss's Orders, that's horrible. Um, I guess I just... Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter. If they knock out a Magnezone, that's game anyway. Okay, so I'm going to Magnetic Circuit all the way here. And then I have to Marnie first, because this stuff will be on the bottom. Uh, I, yeah, I guess I just bench the Jirachi just to get out of the deck. Okay, so I have it. I have it right now. So I'm just going to Stellar Wish, get the Mount Coronet. Doesn't even matter. I'm just going to put literally all the energy on the dude. So the Mount Coronet goes down. Going to <laughs> put every energy in my deck on the Mewtwo and Mew. Doesn't matter, everything's going there. Every energy, and then I'll put the skateboard, skateboard on the Mewtwo and Mew, so if it gets, well, hang on. They got rid of a tool, do I think they have two tool scrapper? They cannot have two tool scrapper. That would just be absolutely insane. Uh, and I do have a switch left in the deck, I know that. So the skateboard's going down. Sky Judgment, the Pikaram for 270. And I still have five energy left, so I can still win the game. And 
And as you may have noticed, yes, Timeless GX will not actually come into play here, but yes, I will use Timeless GX if, I, if I'm in position to use Timeless GX. Because I'll sort of, if they try and just not put anyone in the active that is important, then I'll Timeless the Jirachi and then I'll bosses the Raichu Raichu. But if they have a bosses and a switch card, they win. But I'm in a very good position here because they clearly they don't have it or if they do they're going to try and paralyze if they paralyze then i'll just research and if i somehow don't get my switch off the research then i just retreat into the jirachi and i get the switch with jirachi and i win so it's not guaranteed that i win like if they get boss's orders here and they have a scoop up net or a switch or an escape board then i lose but I mean, they shouldn't have used Ordinary Rod first. You use Stellar Wish first, then Ordinary Rod, because uh, you're putting non-trainers into your deck with Ordinary Rod. Reset Stamp. That is totally fine. Okay, so it's probably going to be that I have to switch into the Jirachi. There's a bosses. Okay. Stadium Nav. Okay. Oh no! How? No! Okay, so the Mewtwo and Mew has a 4 retreat cost. Uh, okay. Don't have a switch card. No! Oh no! Who plays Galarmine in a Picaram deck? Are you kidding me? Okay. Ironically, they can't actually knock me. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, no. The... Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Why did I do that? Oh, no. Okay, so Marnie. No, it's not well played yet. I need to... Okay. Oh, man. Heart, uh... Heart went a little... Okay, don't do that to me again. Okay. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh. And then Sky Judgment. Oh, I, I don't know if I can play another game. That one... That one pushed me to the limit, but you saw. I was down 6 to 1. Oh, man. A game took 20 minutes. I was down six to one on prizes and I won. Uh, what? How? I barely did any more damage than them. Uh, I'm gonna say that was some expert gameplay on my part. I know. I know I'm being, being a little too humble, but that was just, that's the best gameplay you have ever seen. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't go first there. They had an amazing start. My deck performed somehow. I got the cards when I needed them after not getting them at all in the start. This was pretty much the exact scenario with the Reshiram and Zekrom where I had a really bad start. They had a great start. I was down 6-1 and then I pulled it together. Let me know in the comments if you've ever had a crazy comeback story like that. Uh, I will leave the list in the description as always. Dialga is better than Palkia in every way. I enjoyed filming this video so much more. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you want to. If not, I'll try and convince you tomorrow, and I will see you then. Thank you.